So sometimes in life, you run into a recipe that with that first bite, it becomes an unforgettable experience because it's got so many great flavors and it truly stands out above the rest. Anyways, today we're making a dish that is exactly that. We're talking Spanish mushroom and garlic potatoes. This is a recipe that hails from the historic town of Baeza, located in the province of Jaén, where it's known as patatas a la Baezana. And let me tell you, this dish has some serious flavors to it. It's very easy to make and it's the perfect side dish for any meal of the day. Folks, like I always tell you, this is what the Spanish kitchen is all about. Honest and clean flavors that pack a ton of goodness. Let's begin by heating a large frying pan with a medium heat and adding in a generous half cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 150 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna cut two and a quarter pounds of potatoes, which is one kilogram that have already been peeled, washed, and patted dry, each one into pieces that are half an inch thick, which is two and a half centimeters. Now to make this recipe, you wanna use potatoes that are a bit more waxy than starchy as they hold their shape better when they're cooked. I'm using new potatoes, but you can also use Yukon gold, golden delight, or even red potatoes. And as you can see for this recipe, I peel the potatoes as that's how it's traditionally done, but if if you prefer, you can leave the skins on the potatoes. And we'll also cut a slit on six cloves of garlic, making sure to leave the skins on. Then we'll add the potatoes and the cloves of garlic into the pan with the hot olive oil. And we'll mix the potatoes around. That way they're all coated in that olive oil. And we're gonna go here between 20 to 25 minutes or until they're golden fried. And you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there every three to four minutes. That way all the potatoes evenly fry. In the meantime, let's get the rest of the ingredients ready. I'm gonna add in two cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped into a mortar. Pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. As always, the saffron I'm using is from Golden Saffron. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. A quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley, which is 16 grams. You can substitute this for half the amount of dried parsley. And a pinch of sea salt. And using a pestle, I'm going to pound down on the ingredients until we form a paste. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can also use a food processor here. Then we'll grab 12 button mushrooms, add them into a colander, give them a quick rinse under some cold running water, and pat each one completely dry, making sure to remove any of the excess dirt. And then we'll cut each mushroom into four evenly sized pieces. All right, let's move back to our potatoes. They've been frying between 20 to 25 minutes. And as you can see, they have a beautiful golden fried color to them. And you know, you can always tell when they're fully cooked through, you just pierce them with a toothpick. And if it easily goes in there, they are ready to go. For the next step, I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat. And we'll drain everything into a fine sieve with a bowl underneath. Then we'll add the drained olive oil back into the pan. And once again, heat it with a medium heat. Once the olive oil gets hot, I'm gonna add in the mushrooms. And we'll mix the mushrooms around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil, and we're gonna saute them between three to four minutes. Once the mushrooms are lightly sauteed, once again, it's been three to four minutes, I'm gonna add in the potatoes back into the pan. The garlic paste that we made earlier. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together. Then we'll add in half a cup of white wine, which is 120 milliliters. If white wine is not your thing, you can also use broth here with a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice. And we'll give it one final mix and then simmer it between three to four minutes or until all that wine has been absorbed by the potatoes and mushrooms. 
Then we'll remove the pan from the heat and transfer everything into a serving dish. And check it out, our patatas a la baezana are done, a beautiful Spanish mushroom and garlic potato dish from the historic town of Baeza. Easy to make and such an incredible aroma coming out of it. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, patatas a la baezana, such an unknown dish outside of Spain. Here we go. Like I told you at the beginning, it's one of those dishes that when you take that first bite, it just hits home because it is so good. You have all that garlic and the saffron, uh, the fried potatoes just melt in your mouth, and then those mushrooms add a beautiful earthiness, folks. Serve this as a side dish next to some fried eggs or even some grilled fish for one of the best meals of your life. Really quick before I go, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Brian Skeever, Justin Solers, Georgia Candioti, and Kelly Lorang. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we are Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego. Absolutely beautiful. You know what I did forget to mention is the cloves of garlic. We left the skins on them. This is so the garlic doesn't burn and get all bitter. Now they end up with this beautiful buttery texture as well as give that flavor to all the potatoes and mushrooms. Wow. See you in the next video. Hasta luego.